All right, Aquarius, welcome back. So today we're just going to ask this question. Are you on the spiritual path? And um, we're going to go just with the flow. Whatever comes through. And see, we've got animals. So some of you are really drawn to pets, animals, working with them or getting one. Uh, or just, you know, spending a lot of time with animals that could be definitely helping your instinct to raise some of you also when it comes to energy healing you're receiving some type of protection from an animal or uh, healing from an animal could also be a passed over animal but this is something that is very important for you in your life and obviously also super um, specific so if that does not resonate then leave it um, but you could be kind of like invoking an animal spirit in your life in order to achieve things right like here we have the cheetah i'm sure that a lot of you would have the cheetah maybe as your uh, animal spirit to achieve things to really go after things and to kind of like have that mentality have those traits okay so you might be needing to do that oh i have a beautiful deck here let's do that you know going with the flow right taking whatever it is i do have like two sexual tarot cards i wanted to come through so maybe that's also quite interesting we've got the Na knave of wands and the nine of wands some of you are holding back from someone like you really want to jump on them and you're like no i need to protect myself it's kind of like you know your instinct feeling like this person is danger to my heart and they propel a lot of feelings inside of you and you're like i need to take a step back go with the flow aquarius go with the flow interesting let's see which animal energy is fitting to your energy right now we also have the spiritual teacher card. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. I'm hearing like, you know, being talkative, communication, uh, communicating for a large group of people. That might be something that you are going to be doing in the near future. Could be also like YouTube, but I'm really seeing like a crowd that you are presenting something to. Okay, so that could be like in uh, just like a big company, but it could also be more about spirituality and healing in a big group setting. We've got the bats. Oh my God. Well, that is a very interesting point of view. <laughs> the bat coming through with the deer. Oh my God, the danger and the innocent, you know, that's the type of energy. That's the scorpionic energy. Someone is feeling like they're going through a shadow process like shadow energy here and they need to get out there they're very intuitive they're very instinctive and the deer is like let me come come i'll mother you so do you have someone around you perhaps that's you or perhaps it's the other person that wants to kind of like wrap their arms around you and be like it's okay don't get scared and you're like i'm not scared <laughs> I'm trying to run away from this. No, honey, you're scared. You're scared of a thing called love. You know, that, that's a conversation that I'm seeing happening. Oh, this is kind of cute. I actually want to read the bath. Maybe um, it's been a long time since I've used these decks. Don't dim to fit in. And where are you being called to journey to? So there's absolutely a new pathway opening up for you a spiritual pathway and you're like i don't want to get out there so maybe you have a little bit of that in you bat girl or a bat boy something right let's see if i have it here yes so why are you dimming yourself hmm Let's see what the bat has to say. New. Here we have darkness, letting go, death leading to rebirth. Quite shadow and dramatic. 
Before emerging, the bat waits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the daylight hours. The bat is a master of the subtle senses, of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and others to fade. The bat card shows up to signify the ending of a chapter, the closing of a door. The bat comes swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new dawn. No more lingering in the past. Well, exactly trying to move on or you telling someone to move on or you coming out of a dark period of your life and you're like who is this dear that's so kind there's someone that is super kind around you Ooh, someone is not revealing part of the story trust your feelings over what others say an angel of addiction healing this is a time of transformation, positive transformation and healing. So some of you are coming out of the dark uh, party life or something that was dark could be alcohol addiction, could be any type of addiction, but there is definitely some type of addictive behavior or relationship that you're healing from. It could be a toxic commitment that you were in, right? And you're, you're having good support but you're also know that there are people that you know are not really revealing their intentions towards you we got the chariot again this card comes up for so many signs is because we're gonna soon enter the cancer season obviously which means that that is going to be the time where there's going to be a lot of movement forward but yes i keep on seeing someone trying to hold you back here like pulling on your strings the devil restricting you in actual movement because the chariot is actual movement, right? It's like you want to go to your house and someone is like pulling on you like, no, you need to stay here. Like, really? That type of like, it's an actual resisting, you know, restraining order type of energy. <laughs> well, for the cross watcher, maybe your Aquarius is getting a restraining order going on but hey or you may have been dealing with someone that had that going on and again we get the same energy which is super freaking creepy six of swords with the devil now if you're out on this boat trying to cross the ocean you don't want to be met with the devil on the ocean right no exactly that ain't good deal that ain't a good deal Two of Swords, the Emperor. Wow, that's a very controlling, demanding uh, person behind it. It's a controlling power. Like, what the F is going on here? What the F? Big controlling power behind you. Now, that could be a parent, right? It could be that a parent is kind of like forcing you in some type of sense to not move in a certain direction and you're being called to move that way and someone here clearly is trying to confuse your mind and that my friend is the angel of vision someone is not revealing part of the story so the part of the story is that this person has a different intention maybe they don't want to see you shine they don't want you you know they want you to dim your light like don't let everyone see you type of energy and that's not what, what you came here to do, right? You came here to shine with something that is different, okay? Something that is unique, something that has not been done in, in the world before type of energy. And obviously that's quite like, but yes, you know. And there is some type of narcissistic energy here coming at you, trying to divert your energy to the other direction. And this needs time, meaning that you could be under a contract. You could be under um, living under the same roof. It's like, it's my rules. It's my house. It's my rules. You know, what can you do? Falling in love. Mm. I'm hearing. I don't know why I heard something Arabic. I don't speak Arabic, but in my mind, I hear something Arabic going on 
transparency, honest, genuine, and present, and visions. For some of you, it could be the same sex energy and you are afraid to tell your uh, parents, could be. But yeah, there is a need of needing to speak up in all honesty in regards to how you think about a situation. Kind of like getting out of the closet here in whichever sense that is, right? Could be that if you tell someone that you are a mother, that you have kids, like it could be something that is quite big, but you haven't told the other person. Mercury messages, travel, communication, yeah. Party, masculine, and nurture. All right, some of you. You're going to see this person at a party. Okay, like you're going to meet, like not meet them, but you're going to see them in a, in a setting and there's going to be an open conversation or you're, you're about to be openly telling that person like, hey, this is what is going on. Like there is going to be an open communication that comes in quite unexpectedly with a specific person that you had some unfinished business with. This masculine energy, there is a masculine energy here that is quite um, sad, okay? Sad for something not getting off the ground and needing some nurture, right? Needing some nurture here. Uh, let's see, who is this person? A clear solution. So you might be helping someone with a clear solution as well. Again, I'm getting this, this person that you're seeing that is in the corner feeling down and upset and you're kind of like helping that person out, giving them a shoulder to cry on. This might be the person that you're actually moving forward on, but there is a lot of heartbreak between the both of you. So there has been some history, but there is a second chance that is coming up here. This person could be talking about their heartache or pain, eight of swords, things that have, you know, limited their beliefs, limited themselves from moving forward with you, Aquarius. But there is absolutely a, a change here. You're going to learn something new about this individual, something that you never knew. And it, this is someone that cannot longer think or stress about this pain. They need to speak up. They've been keeping it quiet. And now they're just like, you know what? I'm on my way. I'm coming. We are about to talk about something. Yeah, they've been holding on to some type of feeling, sadness, some grief, some disappointment, and it's kind of like hindering them. It's hindering them. So, you know, could it even be like someone just like coming to the airport and saying like, Aquarius, don't leave. I love you. <laughs> you know, that type of energy, like, please. You know, that could be the devil. Someone having like a more feeling than you thought. And they're like, please don't go. Please don't let me go. Aquarius, stay here. Nope. There were too many cards. Queen of Heaven. The Divine Empress of the Skies acknowledges your feminine authority now as a man or a woman. You have a life path of spiritual leadership to bring qualities of mercy, compassion, and wisdom into the world. Mercy, compassion, and wisdom. That's what this person needs. And that is the dear, my friend. That's you. And you're helping this person to get out of the dark period. Okay. Now, that's what I have for you. Please let me know your comments. Been a lot of different stories. So please let me know how this resonated and drop a like if it did. Take care.